Debate right now over school vouchers is in full swing as both sides make their case to the state Supreme Court. News Force Justina Latimer has more for us tonight. Well, this is an ongoing debate that began over a year ago. Some argue the benefits for students, while others challenge the financial aspects. Arguments were presented to the Tennessee State Supreme Court for Governor Lee's Education Savings Account Pilot Program. The program provides about $7,000 in funds for children from low-income families to attend a school of their choice. In February 2020, Metro Nashville and Shelby County filed a lawsuit to block the program. But today the debate continued, with some arguing against the financial aspect, while others pushed for the benefits of students. The school districts will basically break even on this, but what the burden is on the counties is that these ESA students have to be counted at, continue to be counted as enrolled in this county school district for the purpose of funding calculation. Metro Davidson County has been arguing for months that th this education savings account program was going to harm them by costing them more money. But today in court, they admitted that the county will basically break even. So there's no injury or harm to the county taxpayers. However, on the other side of the ledger, there would be there's a huge harm if, to these students who are being failed year after year. I'm told that the Supreme Court is expected to make a final decision by the end of July. For News 4 Nashville, I'm Justina Latimer.